about a year ago, my friend Eric and I decided to make a video game. We thought it'd be cool if the world of Over the Garden Wall and the gameplay of Hollow Knight were one unique experience. When we launched our Kickstarter, we were unsure how far this thing would go, but over 1,400 people came together, backed us, and here we are today, working on that video game still. And it has come a long way, and that is what I would like to get into in this devlog. Uh, this is our game, Layers Deep. Returning to Godot post Kickstarter, we realized that in order to get the trailer looking good, we had to do some pretty speedy development. That means that a lot of our systems are not built to scale, a lot of our animations are kind of buggy, and a lot of the art isn't representative of the final product. So we had our work cut out for us. Our first job was to refactor all the code, turn it into something scalable, redo all the animations, make them higher quality, higher fidelity, and more accurate to uh, what we want in the final game, and redo a lot of the art direction and story so that it made sense in the larger context of a full game. We we are no longer building a game for a trailer, but we're building a game for a launch. My first task was to redo the Onions animation sets entirely for a fourth time. We got a lot of feedback that the player character just didn't pop in front of the background and looked kind of floaty and stiff. So I started reanimating the Onion completely from scratch. I made his poses more dynamic. I made the frame rate higher. I, I gave his cape a lot of flow and weight to it so when the Onion bounces and moves around, the cape has that secondary animation to where it gives him more of a weighty feel. I have him lean way more into his attacks, and I have multiple attack animations, so now it's not just the same attack animation playing over and over again. And the rendering style is more vibrant. I gave the onion a thicker, darker black line and um, it's more saturated color palette, so now the onion should pop in front of the background and look more like a polished player character. Though there is still some work that needs to be done, a lot of the transition animations have not been fully in implemented yet, but it is a start. Indie game strongman Thomas Brush also helped me a bit with the redesign. He showed me some uh, color value techniques that I could use to get the player to pop in front of the background, as well as uh, advising that we just get rid of the blur entirely, which we did and replaced with a fog that gets thicker the further back in the Z space you go. I'm just thinking like, what would happen if you just created more fog and even did a gradient shift of going from like a yellow fog and it gradients all the way back into like a dark orange to create sort of a orange horizon? Um, which I think looks better. I was hesitant at first, but uh, Thomas is right as he always is. You win this time, Thomas Brush. The Kickstarter build of the game, all of the enemies had their own unique scripts that were hastily written, some of which by me. Yikes. But Eric came in and refactored all of them and helped me build them with the enemy class system, which is now a, uh, a bunch of nodes that have their own scripts that I can put together in a scene like uh, building enemies out of Legos. Now I can make enemies way faster and with way less bugs. So thank you, Eric. Uh, let's take a look under the hood. Hey, Eric, how's it going in there? <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, I made components. They're like little feature chunks. If we start with an enemy, or pretty much anything else, we can then pick and choose which of these features we want to add in, and there you go. That's composition. Doing it this way is faster, and it gets rid of the need for a lot of unnecessary debugging. Now that the enemy system is built, I can add as many enemies as I want, which is fantastic, because enemy variety is a huge part of our game. <laughs> now I can make the enemies super juicy and add as many sound effects and particles as I want. Also, they can drop as much money as I want them to drop.
yummy. Now that the game is feeling playable, you can run around, you can look at the sights, you can smack the creatures, and you can get rich doing it. All we need to know now is where the heck are we? And that's where the map system comes into play. Just press the escape key and pull up the map. Wow, there it is. And the way this map system works is unique. It actually takes global world space of the game and translates it into real space on a map. So when you have the little onion dot on your screen, that's where you are in the world. But it also makes it hard, because now when I build levels, they have to actually connect to each other. So I'm kind of building it uh, like, you, like I'm building a real place that you would walk around. Does that make sense? Does any of this make sense? I'm sorry that I'm the one telling you about the map system and not Eric. He is the one that made it. But I did, I did make that pretty little picture that uh, is on the map system right there. Isn't that cute? So the, the last content thing we need to do for the demo is the boss fight. Obviously, you can't have a Metroidvania without amazing bosses. And we can't properly show off our game without showing off how we're going to make those bosses. And the boss fight we had in the Kickstarter build, I just didn't like it. I thought it was mediocre and I think that it was underwhelming and we needed to change that. Like everything else in our game up to this point, we needed to remake it from the ground up and that's what we did. So it's, it's the same kind of boss, it's the same boss style, but a slight redesign. All the animation sets are redone, again, so they're higher fidelity, higher frame rate. We want to lean kind of more into that cuphead kind of vibe of where, where you feel like, okay, yeah, this is a very traditionally animated video game. I could feel the hands drawing the lines as I'm smacking it around. Uh, so that was our goal. But we also wanted to have like this big epic boss arena where the boss is kind of interacting with the arena and it's more of like an actual experience with like a, this cutscene at the end. And um, while, while all the art and everything is in place for this, all of it is done, um, we just had a few more things to finish up before we could build this boss fight. So unfortunately in this devlog, we are not going to be covering the boss fight. Um, so yeah, that's basically the bones of the demo. The demo is going to be small and just kind of a way to represent our game um, to our backers and our playtesters. But uh, in order to finish the demo, we kind of have to finish the game, the back, the back end of the game at least. Like, the game needs to save and load data properly. It needs to have like a title screen. It needs to to have a full gameplay loop. It, all the enemies need to work, the, like all the systems, the, the big foundation our entire game needs needs to be built for this demo. Um, and that's why making a demo is so good for developers because it allows us to kind of make a full game, a full mini slice of the game, uh, give it to the public, um, in this case the public being just our Kickstarter backers that are playtesters, giving it to them and uh, getting feedback and then returning to the game and then when we make the full game we'll have like a better idea of a how to finish and ship it and b how to make it amazing so that is the goal with all of this and speaking of all the back end stuff eric is working tirelessly to get it done eric how are you doing oh i'm fine oh. Uh. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you to all of our backers. And if you'd like to become a backer, you have until the end of October. We are going to be shutting down late pledges on our Kickstarter then. So if you want a plushie, a t-shirt, or you'd like to play test the demo, um, you have until the end of October to sign up and be a backer of our game. And, you know, and it's on Steam as well. So, all right, thank you. Bye.